what I, you all hear about gemstone, about crystals, there's many people that become addict to it. How do we Jewish look at it? Edwin, can you hear me? Besides showing me your stone, let's see how's it going. <laughs> okay, so I'll tell you why I make the show on it. It's not a usual show. I've been asked a number of times. I've done one or two showroom about it before, but not in depth that we're going to do today. So first of all, how there is special energy on a stone or not? That's what we're going to tackle today. That's the first question. And how does the energy work? We have to understand if there is energy. So the Torah tells us that the Kohen Gadol, one of his eight clothes that he used to wear was the breastplate, the Hoshen. And in the Hoshen was four lines that each line was of three, it was the 12 tribes. I'm going to bring the mainly commentary of Rabenu Behaye. Rabenu Behaye was two Rabenu Behaye. The first Rabenu Behaye lived 950, 960 years ago. That's Rabenu Behaye Ibn Pakoda. He wrote the famous book, Hovat Alevavot, Obligation of the Heart. But the one that I'm going to bring the commentary is Rabenu Behaye Ben Asher. He lived 750 years ago in a city of Saragossa in Spain. And he wrote commentary on all the Torah. And in his commentary, funny enough, he wrote commentary on those 12 stones that the Kohen Gadol used to wear. And listen what he said. And he said like this. Nimtza besifre chokhmat ha-teva. Chokhmat ha-teva is the wisdom of nature, the book that's called The Wisdom of Nature. Rabotai, that's a Kabbalistic book. Very, very heavy book. I never read it, so don't think that I'm a Kabbalistic, not at all. I don't understand nothing about it. I'm just coping what the Rabbeinu Behaya say. And he say, Nimtza besifre chokhmat ha-teva. Ki kol ha-avanim, that mean, in a book of the wisdom of the nature, all of those stones, the 12 stone that was on a breastplate, okay? It say that they are the gems and they're very important stone. Listen to that. And there are 12. There is no more than 12. All the rest of the stone that we can find today, they come from those 12 stone. You follow what I'm saying? Any question? That's me. If people will tell you that there is any more stone, you have to understand that they're coming from that. The commentary that I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring commentary of three. Rabbeinu Behaye, the Machon HaMikdash in Jerusalem, that they actually describe the name of the stone in English, they translate it. And the third one is Midrash Talpiot. Yes, Stephen. Akon here. Yes. That's what I said. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. So the first stone that was on Hoshen was, it's called Odem. Odem was attribute to the tribe of Reuven. In English, they call it a ruby, the stone of the ruby. Let's see the remedy of the stone of the ruby. The color of that stone is red. Anyone have any idea why Dafka red? The Torah tell us about it. The Torah tell us, you remember that Reuven given Leah, his mother, the Dudaim. Dudaim is the Mendrix, you remember? And with that, she spent the night with Yaakov, with her husband Yaakov. So in saying on merit of that, Reuven merit to get the color red. What is the remedy of that stone? Anyone have any idea? Ruby. Love, 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 energy. energy. Energy, obviously, everything is energy. So Malka say energy. Let's see. Everything, all the stone have energy now. You'll see now. So, so Malka say love. But we have to explain what is love. There's many women that battling to fall pregnant. 
Rabbeinu Bechayi say, if you wear that stone on your body, if it touch your skin. When I mention the stone, it has to touch you. It has to be on the skin. Otherwise, it doesn't have no effect on you. That stone, a woman that battled to fall pregnant, the energy of it can help her to fall pregnant. If she have a miscarriage, it will help to prevent miscarriage. Not only that, when a woman battle and she suffer when she gives birth, that will help to easier give birth. That means that the ruby stone, Rabotai, it's everything to do with fertilizing. Remember, the red stone, that's the ruby. If you have it on your body, it's good. The remedy of it, the energy of it, is to help us, according to Rabbeinu Behaye and the Midrash Talpiot, for fertilizer. Let's continue. What was the second stone? Anyone have know what was the second stone? Odem Pedeta. The second stone was attributed to the tribe of Shimon. It's according, according to the tribe. Pedeta in English, the Machon, Beta Migdash, recognize it as the stone of called the jade. Did you hear about the jade? Nahon? Okay, the color of that stone is a green. Remember, green. That stone, that stone can be fine, say Rabbeinu Behaye in Eretz Kush. You know where is Eretz Kush? In Africa. Why Dafka in Africa? Anyone have any idea? You remember what happened with Zimri ben Salu, the head of the tribe of Shimon? He gone with Kosbi Batsu. You remember, he committed immorality. Sarah Ben Obehaye, that that stone can help to mellow physical desire. And that, that stone being put for the tribe of Shimon. And Hazal tell us in a Gemara, Asara Kabim Shel Znut Yardu Laolam. Ten measures of immorality came down to the world. Nine, Africa took. The rest, the one that left, one measure for all the world. So Akadosh Baruch Hu made that stone, can be fine, Dafka and Africa, tomorrow. The physical relationship. What is the remedy of that stone? So the remedy of that stone that number one, obviously, it's male of physical desire. Some people say that in the, when you wear that stone, it's help for fever. People that suffer from fever, if you put it on them, they're not going to suffer from fever. Not only that, it's keep, help the person to keep his eyes from looking at negative things. <coughs> That's called pedeta. Any question? Ladies, no question. They're right. I continue. The third stone that was in Hoshen called Bareket. The stone of Bareket, it's described as the emerald. I'm sure that you all hear about the emerald. And that attribute to the tribe of Levi. What was so special about the emerald? Hazal tell us that that stone Noah put on his ark. Noah make a window. You remember we spoke about it. Did he make a window or he put a stone? You remember that? Yeah. And we say that he put a stone made from emerald to, li uh, to, sorry, to light the inside of the ark. So what is the remedy of the emerald? Now we have to understand why Dafka Emerald to the tribe of Levi. What was the tribe of Levi? Sorry? They serve in the temple. Also the Kohanim. The Kohanim come from the Levi. Malka, you are Levi, Nahon? No? They study. They study. Oh, that's. The Litten? The Litten? 
the eyes of the Jewish people in the Torah. We spoke about it, that the only tribe that never was in slavery, Shevet, Levi, Nahon. Why Dafka that? Because the job of the Shevet Levi is to light the eyes of the Jewish people. That means the Torah is light, Shevet Levi, that is job to light. That's why the, the stone of emerald being put for them. What is the remedy of that stone, emerald? So listen to it carefully now. Now we're talking, if you take the stone and you grind it, not only hold it, and you mix it with food or with any kind of liquid. You take an emerald stone and you grind a little bit of it and you mix it with liquid or you mix it with food. That help a person to become wise. A person that want to become wise, take a stone of emerald, a little bit, but a true emerald, not fake emerald, not made in China. Grind it. Put a little bit in your food, very little bit. You'll see how wise you're going to become. Some people say it's help for good dream. People that suffer from bad dream, it will help you. It's good for any successful. You want to become a successful person, put it in your food. Not only that, people from suffer from epilepsy. It's a remedy to help to people that suffer from red from epilepsy. Let's continue. The fourth stone called Nofech. Nofech, it's attributed to the tribe of Yehuda. The color, it's been described as turquoise. The stone of Nofech been described by Machon, Bet HaMignash, as turquoise. The color of the turquoise Listen to it. It's green and blue. What is the remedy of that stone? A person that wear it, it help to prevent negative thought, number one. It's good for the heart. People that are suffering from heart problem, if they wear it, it help a lot. Not only for the heart, also for the mind, for the brain, to think clearly. Not only that, it say that it deter the enemies. What does it mean, deter the enemies? The enemy is afraid of you. Where do we see it with Yehuda? With the blessing that Yaakov Avinu given Yehuda, what does it say? Yatcha be'oref oivecha, nachon? That your hand is in the back of your neck of your enemy. Who was the enemy that you would have put down? I saw, you remember? I saw when they took to bury Yaakov, I saw, said, no, uh, uh, uh. you can't bury your father here. You say, why? He said, I'm the oldest. So they say, but you sold your firstborn to our father. He said, prove it. So they said, Naftali. Naftali was a good runner. In the meantime, Hushin, Hushin was the son of Dan. He saw his grandfather waiting to be buried, and it's embarrassment. And he was heavy hearing. He couldn't understand what's happening. And he asked, why are we not burying the grandfather? They're waiting. Until Naftali is going to go to Egypt, bring the document and come back. Hushin Bedan didn't think twice. Took a piece of stick and hit Asab on the back of his head, and he fell down. Came Yehuda and chopped his head. You remember we explained that. And the head of Asab <laughs> rolled to where? To the legs of Yaakov. And if anyone will ask you, who's buried in Ma'arat HaMachpelah? How many people have been buried there? No? Four. Four male and four female. And the head of Asab. Okay, so now we understand what is Nofech. Nofech is turquoise. Yes, yeah. Simon. The body. 
No, they didn't bury the body in Ma'arat HaMachpelah. Only his head. His head by the leg of Yaakov. Somewhere else. We don't want it there. You want Isav with you? I don't want him near me. There's enough chores with Isav. <laughs> I said turquoise. Turquoise. That's the name of the stone. There's a stone that's called turquoise. So that was the fourth stone. The fifth stone that was in Hoshen. Wait, before I forget. Rega, 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 rega. There is another remedy to that stone. I forgot. You see many women and many men, not so much men, mainly women, wear a little hand. You know, a little hand with a blue hamsa. You know what is hamsa against the evil eye? Where does it come from? That stone. That's the turquoise. Why dafka that color? Because the color of the sky. It's against the evil eye. Many Jewish people wear it. It's in a tradition of the Jewish people and the Muslim and the Islam. That's it. This color. That's it. That's this color. Then we have the fifth stone that was on Hoshen was the sapir. Sapir been attributed to the tribe of Issachar. The name of the stone, Sephira. Sephira. The color of that stone, it's again baby blue, and it represents the sky. Why Dafka the sky? Because it represents humility and humbleness. Because Issachar was one of the humble people, Nahon. He was the most learned person in the tribe, Nahon. And there is a, a deal that they call Issachar Vezevulun. You all hear about it. That the person that can't study Torah, if he support Talmit Hacham to study, that's considered that he supported Issachar, that learning Torah, and he can continue with his business. So the name of that stone is Sephira. What is the remedy of that stone? When I say a remedy, Rabota is an energy. It's give energy, it's help. That's what I'm referring to. The stone of Sephira help for any pain. Any pain. People that suffering from pain or from swelling, the stone of Sephira, it's very helpful. Not only that, it's help for the eyesight. People that have a problem with the eyesight, the stone of Sapphire. It's helped to reduce sweat on the body. That's the remedy of Sapphire. Any question? Yes, Malka. No, I read that uh, Hashem sits on a throne of the Sapphire. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The sixth stone, Yahalom. Yalom actually been attributed to the tribe of Zevulun. Yalom, in the common translation for it, is diamond or quartz. The color of the diamond, we have here a fundi of diamond, Adrian. Usually it's clear, white, nahon. That stone, why dafka to the tribe of Zevulun? Anyone have any idea? What was the brocha that he got from Yaakov? Lehof yamim ishkon zvulun, nachon? What does it mean that zvulun was a businessman? That when you see people dealing with diamond, they become rich? Here's the source. You understand? Philip, you look surprised. Because zvulun have a lot of ships. And he used to be a trader, buying and selling. And you see there is certain people that can trade with diamond and they will make money. These others not not. 2009, I become a BEE, previous disadvantage. And it's all because of Adrian Taylor. He said to me, listen, become a BEE. I go on and I become BEE. Simon, don't look at me like this. I'm a BEE, not only you. I become, I got a license to buy rough diamond. 
And believe me, if you show me glass, or you show me a diamond to me, then there's no difference. Not only that, I never make one deal. Why? Because I'm not supposed to be from the tribe of Zulu. <laughs> so we see from here that the diamond, it's only for Shevet Zulu. What is the remedy of a diamond? Who doesn't sleep here at night? Who's suffering from battling to sleep at night? Steven, you battling? Take a diamond. No, no, Stevie behind you. There's another Steven, another young Steven. Take a diamond, put it on your body. If you put a diamond on your body, you'll see you sleep like a baby. It's helped to sleep. That means that you don't need any more sleeping tablet, diamond. Touch the body, you sleep like a baby. Test it, it's well tested. I've given it to a few of my students that have a problem. Put it on their body. They're sleeping beautifully. Who, who asked? Simon, yes, what? Anywhere, on, on your hair. Ring, a ring. You, you bought your wife. You bought your wife a ring. Tell her at night I want to wear it. In the morning I give it to you back. Why? Because otherwise you're going to fall asleep during the day. So the remedy of it, when it's touched the body, it helps a person to sleep. Not only that, it prevents, when people wear it, it prevents a person from having bitterness, what today they call it in modern English, depression. The diamond help against depression, the remedy. Not only that, it helps against having argument. So that means if you don't want to argue with your wife, buy her a diamond ring. Okay, not only that, it helps also to win enemies. There is a remedy on it. The seventh stone is Leshem. Leshem was the stone that attribute to the tribe of Dan. What is Leshem? It's called the Ember or the Topaz Stone. Okay. Topaz. Topaz, yeah, or Ember. According to, uh, before, I continue, before I start with the remedy, if you take the Ember Stone and you look at it, look at it carefully, you'll see an upside down face there is on it. The face, it's actually upside down. It's not a straight forward, it's upside down. I looked at the stone that brought in Mahon Bet HaMikdash, I was impressed. I couldn't believe. It took me a few seconds to focus. When I looked at it, I saw it. According to Rabbeinu Behaye, that stone have no remedy. <coughs> According to Rabbeinu Behaye. According to the other Mefarshim, the stone of Leshem, the Emba, the Topaz, have different remedy. It's helped to string the muscle of the heart. Okay, it's helped to keep the, um, the, 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 what do you call it? Um, the eyesight and encourage happiness. Now, Rabota, I want to stop here. There is, there is a doctor here, but he's a retired doctor, so I can say it. How much money the medical game making of people by selling tablets. And they don't actually cure. Nahon, doctor, they don't cure the symptom. They just postpone it, what we call it. Am I right? Oversleep it. If you know that someone suffering from depression, eyesight, explain to him what it can help. I don't know how much ember stone cost, but on the long run it's going to be much cheaper than medication. I just hope but no one's going to sue me for that. <laughs> also, I don't, I don't think the medical aid is going to pay for it. Huh? I don't think the medical aid will pay for it. They're not going to pay for it, yeah. <laughs> so we see that the Emba, that's called Leshem, that's the tribe of stone, attribute to the tribe of stone. We see the remedy according to the Midrash and the other commentaries. The eighth stone is Shevo. Shevo, it's attribute to the tribe of Naphtali, and in English you call it a gate. A gate. Do you hear about it? 
Sorry. Agate. A G A T E. That's the name of the stone. Funny enough, there's not a lot explained about this stone, but the remedy for it, you're not going to believe. In South Africa, we have a lot of lightning. That stone protects from lightning. You can't believe it. Not only that, it protects from epidemic. Take that stone now, send it to China, where they have that epidemic. Look how many people are going to be saved. It's helped for Parnassa. It's good for the heart. It's good for good sleep. Also, a person that puts it on his body, listen to that, and he gets injured. The stone, the brightness of the stone becomes, it starts losing its brightness, the stone. That means the light, the bright light of the stone becomes this bright. That means that that stone can save you on a wall. So there is a lot of remedy. Sorry? Reduce. The, the stone reduce the light on it, the brightness of it. Special stone. That's agate. What time is it? I'm not sure. I don't have that stone. I can check. I can try and see it. You know, it's very difficult to look at all the coloring and to explain. You'll see that the last stone, it's, there is no... I'll get to it. If I'll tell you now, I'm going to actually take it. The ninth stone is Ahlama. Leshem Shevo Ahlama. Ahlama, attribute to the tribe of God. And it's called Emtiset in English. That's how they've been tried, that's how they translate it. And the Machon, Bet Amikdash. Emtiset. Emetis. Okay, they call it Emtiset. Emtiset. The remedy of that stone that it's encouraged self-confidence. A person that doesn't have self-confidence wear that stone. Okay, it's helped the eyesight of people in the older age, help people in the older age to have a better eyesight. Not only that, it's reduced worried and bad dream. But that stone have a negative energy also. That stone has a bad energy that if you wear it and it's on you a long time, it can cause for people to start having arguments. It has a bad energy on it also. So it has a nice energy, but that, energy, that stone also has a negative energy. Any question? Should we continue? The 10th stone called Tarshish. That was in a breastplate of the Kohen Gadol, and that attribute to the tribe of Asher. That's called the Bali. Berry, sorry. Beryl, sorry. The name of the stone, Beryl. I don't know if you hear about it. Beryl. B-E-R-Y-L. Or they call it also Aquamarine. I don't know if you hear about that. Aquamarine. You know Aquamarine. Good. The color of it is baby blue. Yeah, you have it? Yeah, yeah here she have it. Yeah. So you know what does it help? What's the, what's the remedy of it? So now you're going to hear. Rabbeinu huh? Bahaya said that it's help to, when you're eating, it's help the digestion. It's help for people that suffer from a short breast. It's help with short breasts. That's the remedy. It's helped to be kind, to have favoritism. <coughs> it's helped for segula. It's reduced the fear, the, the feeling of frightness, fear. It's also help for wisdom. So Malka, don't, don't leave that stone. It's a very good stone. The 11 stone that was in a Hoshan on a breastplate, it's so called Shoham. Shoham is the stone of attribute to the tribe of Joseph, Yosef. 
The color of it was black, and it's called onyx. You hear about the onyx. Onyx, it improved the memory, it string the eyes, it helped with epilepsy, it helped for people to become favored. Also, that person that wear it, people will listen to him. Why? Who didn't listen to Yosef at Sadiq? <coughs> when Yosef at Sadiq was in a house of Potiphar, after the wife tried to seduce him and he didn't, where is he gone? To the pit, you remember? And the pit, whoever saw him, he was favored. Yosef was the favorite all the way. Then he became the ruler of Egypt. Everyone listened to him. About the name Yosef, there's a secret to it. People jealous of that person. The Kabbalistic rabbi explained, the mystical rabbi explained, whoever been called Joseph, people jealous of him. They don't understand why, but they're jealous. So, what is the remedy of the, 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 the stone of uh, onyx? We explain. Any question? Now I'm getting to the last one, the 12 stone that attribute to the tribe of Binyamin. It's called Yashafeh. In English, you call it Opal or Jasper. Opal or Jasper. That stone, listen to me, Brenda, have multi colors, the rainbow colors. One stone with all the colors, the rainbow colors. Can you believe it? <laughs> but all the colors, can you believe it? Which stone is this? Opal, the Jasper. What is the remedy for it? It's help to stop bleeding, hemorrhoid, people that suffering from hemorrhoid. It's help to string the, in, uh, the, uh, the inside of the stomach, the instant. Am I right? How you call it the inside? Intestine. Intestine. Okay. That's the remedy of that stone. Any question before we going to conclude, we're going to summarize. How, how big was each stone? I don't know uh, how big? Each stone. Each stone? <coughs> it was... Funny enough, it's sitting on Matan, I forgot. Shalosh al shalosh. Uh, three, three by three, but what was the measure? Uh, not not Tefa. Tefa is eight centimeters. It was much less. I'll come back to you. It will come back to me. It was three by three. I'll tell you now. I'll, I'll look at it. I'll look at it. So, Rabotai, we see from here that the 12 James stone, and they the main, according to Rabbeinu Bahaye, they the main source to all the other stone that we have today. If you take, if you take a diamond, you remember our friend, the late Moti, Mordechai ben Rahman, Nishmatot Haim. He was a diamond dealer, and he told me, if you want to check a diamond, help me here, Adrian, you know about diamond. As much that you try to heat it with your hand, it will never get hot. It will stay the same temperature. That's how you can find if it's a true diamond or not. Any other stone, if you hold it a lot, it will turn a bit hot. Diamond not. So see, we see from here that those 12 main stones that was on a bracelet of the Kohen Gadol, that was one of his eight clothes that he used to wear the Kohen Gadol, they are the source to all the other gems, all the other crystals that there is. Now, people tell you the Far East already told us and tried to tell us to invent the wheel before the Far East, take our Torah, tell them we know all about the energies, all about 
the thing that can we get effect and the medication that we can get from stone. So we see from here that stone, gemstone, whatever you want to call them, they do have effect. But we have to understand who created those stones, the Almighty. Those gemstones have the effect if it's worked hand by hand with a Kadosh Baruch Hu. A person can't think that he's going to take it and he'll see miracle. Miracle happen only with a Kadosh Baruch Hu. That remedy, that energy that comes from that stone can help you, but doesn't mean there's a guarantee to it. Obviously, it depends how you treat it. For example, if we take the stone of Issachar that speak about humbleness and humility and a person arrogant, it will create a conflict. It wouldn't work. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we see from here that the Kadosh Baruch Hu brought to the world special energy even on gemstone, crystals. They are, they exist. But we mustn't take it and believe that that's the solution. By Ezrat Hashem, that the effect that those stones, we would like to see them, right? That HaKadosh Baruch Hu will send us Mashiach Tzitkenu speedily in our days, and then we'll see Kohen Gadol wearing them, and all the effect that there is that can affect on us, only the goodness. Mm -hmm.